Emotionally crushed by the deaths of Catelyn and Rob, Sansa refuses to eat despite pleas from Shay. When Tyrion attempts to comfort her, she reveals to him that she lies awake all night thinking about how her mother and brother died, having learned that the phrase had sewn Grey Wind's head onto Rob's decapitated corpse. Her mother's corpse was also desecrated by being flung like trash from the battlements of the twins into the trident to rot, an apparent mockery of traditional House Tully funeral customs. Despite the fact that Catelyn tried to have him executed, even after he saved her life, Tyrion tells Sansa that he admired her mother, saying she was a strong woman who was fierce when it came to protecting her children. He tells Sansa that Catelyn would want her to carry on. Sansa excuses herself to go to Godsward where she is later watched by Jaime and Brienne, who reminds the former of the promise he made to Catelyn. Jaime acknowledges this but counters that the situation has become quite complicated due to multiple factors. Catelyn is now dead, Arya hasn't been seen since Ned's execution, and Sansa is now married to Tyrion. Jaime's dilemma to fulfill his oath to Catelyn becomes even more complicated when Joffrey is later fatally poisoned at his own wedding and Sansa flees with Dontos Hollard in the commotion. A vengeful Cersei summons Jaime to her chambers, inquiring why Catelyn set him free. Jaime replies that he swore by all the gods that if Catelyn's daughters were still alive, he would return them to their mother. Cersei continues grilling Jaime to determine if he has no loyalty to Catelyn, asking if he would bring her Sansa's head but Jaime remains silent. He later tasks Brienne with finding Sansa to keeping her safe from those who would hand her over to Cersei, giving her the Valyrian steel sword that his father had reforged from Ned's own sword ice. Before departing, Brienne names the sword, Oathkeeper, and vows to find Sansa, for the sake of Jaime and Lady Catelyn. At the Eyrie, Lysa regales Sansa with her childhood memories about Catelyn. However, she grows angry when Sansa almost mentions Littlefinger's love triangle with Catelyn, something which has irked Lysa for years. She later becomes insanely jealous after witnessing Littlefinger, who is now married to her, kiss Sansa and threatens to throw her niece out the moon door but Littlefinger interrupts. Assuming a softer tone, Littlefinger manages to subdue Lysa before revealing to her horror that the only woman he ever really loved was Catelyn and pushing her out the moon door to her death. En route to the Bloody Gate, Brienne and Podrick Payne stumble upon Arya and Sandor Clegane, who have just returned from the Eyrie after hearing of Lysa's death. Upon realizing that she finally caught up with one of Catelyn's daughters, Brienne beseeches Arya to come with her but the Hound casts aspersions on Brienne's intentions. Each of them believing they should be the one to look after Arya, Brienne and the Hound engage in a brutal fight that ends with the latter being knocked off a cliff. However, an ever-wary Arya hides from Brienne and Pod, making the former miss her first chance to fulfill her oath to Catelyn. 